Okay, this is the fifth part how I was born into this world. So, the next waking up, most of the time when you wake up, you just come into this world, peaceful, you become aware, you maybe open your eyes, everything comes in naturally, beautiful, you know, the way you wake up. My birth <laughs> wasn't so natural, it wasn't, didn't feel so beautiful, it came with pain I'm not going to scream here <laughs> um, it was very shocking experience and very painful experience being born into this world suddenly out of your mother's caring womb and all of that love you're being just you know taken away by force some sterile fucked up environment called white you know hospitals are white white cold feeling so sterile so feeling so fucking dead you know it felt be, it felt like being violated you know maybe it would feel like being raped or something like from your loving place from your mother you're just forcibly being just taken away you want you don't want you just being taken away into this world at the same time you start feeling phew, all of this boom boom it's just too much sometimes when you take ayahuasca you can have kind of similar experience not that intense maybe but painful just phew, like everything is going on you suddenly you feel this body and this body feels you feel gravity, you feel you need to breathe, suddenly out of nowhere you need to breathe and it is not, it is hard. An extra responsibility you have to maintain from now on, breathe. Uh, whoo, painful, hard. I was hurt, I was angry, I was frustrated, I was desperate, and I was angry again. What the fuck, I don't want to be here, you know? <clears throat> I don't want to be here. I'm screaming, I just, you know, I tried to kill myself, I tried, no, I, I stopped breathing, you know, I tried to stop breathing to, you know, die, I could not, <laughs> uh, I could not, I had to be there and witness the whole drama, the whole pain, the whole new burdens being put on me and everything would be painful, you know. I really believe that it makes a big difference how you how you give birth. I don't like hospitals. <laughs> I don't go to hospitals. <laughs> um, then you you kind of calm down slowly. You calm down like like I'm saying or like I used to say like a baby he's crying he's so hurt or he's misses so mom so much you know baby just crying 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 until he falls asleep you know so the same way it was with me you know it's so painful but when pain is so intense it starts numb itself you know by itself numb itself by itself and uh, the time was passing on all I had in my mind then was I need to stay awake I need to stay conscious I need to stay aware of myself I don't want to get driven by this world. I, I felt how this world is just, you know, all of this 
input on you all of these responsibilities let's say now you have your body you have to breathe you have to and everybody are starting to expect you the way you to be now or later and you and you you can see and read the thoughts of the people around you and you know that they already expect you to be in some way maybe not now but the way you are supposed to be when you are older or something you already feel all of this pressure you know mercilessly piling upon you all of this forming you the what, what others expect of you and just this energy of this world you know this collect, collective consciousness is entering you you know you are still pure but all of this collective consciousness collective kind of thinking frequency is just entering mercilessly like taking part and part of you going and going and going and you feel and I felt like fighting a, a, a losing war I need to stay conscious I need to stay myself I need to stay you know remembering my identity who I am who I was how I came into this world you know to remember my mission who am I you know and I was you know I was aware how I'm drifting forgetting all of it forgetting myself I was desperately doing you know what it may sound already heard to you I was doing I was saying who am I who am I who am I who am I to myself I was saying to remember myself to keep holding on my identity my remembering of who I was before I came to this world of my my pure sense my 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 true self my clear pure entity trying to hold of it who am I who am I who am I who am I to kind of fight against all of this that is entering me this collective consciousness you know losing war as they say because I lost it and I and I forgot it And the next 19 years of my life, I've been living without remembering those things, without knowing why I came to this world, who I am. I, yeah, that's the fifth part, right, of my experience. And Let's see if I make the sixth part.